Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Words on Paper. My name is Jesus and today we're gonna do a book review. I'm gonna be reviewing Bone White by Ronald Malfi. Malfi, I think that's how you say it. I don't want to mispronounce it. Um, I saw this book around a little bit. Um, the Final Guys podcast that I listened to, uh, they've talked about this book, so I, I had to get it. I had to read it and see what all the buzz was about. Well, I'll tell you what, this is awesome. It was a great book, a good read. I gave it four stars on my Goodreads review. Excuse me. Um, so the, basically the story is Paul Gallo is searching for his brother, Danny, Danny Gallo. Uh, his brother and him kind of are estranged a little bit. Um, Danny's a little bit of a, a rebel, I guess you can say. Uh, doesn't, you know, live life by the book. Paul is pretty much has a great career, has a wife, well, ex-wife, and hasn't heard from Danny in about two years until Paul sees a report on the news about some murders that have happened in a town called Dreads Hand, Alaska. And Paul knows that's exactly where Danny was. So Paul tries to reach out to local authorities to figure out what's going on. And if Danny was any of those victims that were murdered. Um, so first off, this, this, setting for this book it takes place in alaska um so if you're gonna read this book i would strongly recommend maybe read it in fall or winter this definitely gives you um curl up on the couch with a blanket and read this book um ronald malfi is such a great writer his descriptions of the town and the descriptions of the atmosphere, the weather, you really, you're really like transported to this area of Dred's Hand and out in the remote forest of Alaska. Um, and it, I, to me, I really felt like I was there. I, I really felt that um, bone chilling coldness uh, that's depicted in the book. Um, so anyway, back to the story. Paul eventually makes his way to Dred's Hand, Alaska. He lives in Maryland, so he flies across the country uh, to Alaska to find out what's going on with his brother and if his brother was one of those victims um, of the murders. Uh, come to find out, Danny is not missing after all. Um, he's not one of the victims. So Paul goes on this adventure of trying to find Danny. And as he shows a picture of his brother to the locals in Dred's Hand, uh, people look at him crazy. They think this guy is full of shit pretty much. Because when Paul shows a picture of Danny, it's like looking in the mirror because Paul and Danny are twins. So that was kind of an interesting twist. I mean, that's it's not a, a spoiler or anything because you're going to get that right off the bat. But the people act a little funny because they think that Paul's messing with them. And a lot of the people in the town kind of act funny. Um, and you'll see why when you read the book. Um, you almost feel like the townspeople are, are kind of in on what's going on. And this whole mystery about the murders. Um, this is this is wild. Just when you start to think that the, the story is going to slow down a little bit. And when you're just kind of like, okay, what's going on? There's, I need a little bit more. And that's when Ronald Malfi delivers um, a little bit about the killer. And a little bit about why people in the town feel... A certain way towards Paul maybe he's just because he's an outsider or maybe there's a little bit more to it so this book 
the way Ronald Malfi writes, it, it, it's like a little bit of folklore um, mixed in the middle. Uh, has a little bit to do with the devil and some demons and 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 that kind of thing. Like I, I'm trying to find the words to describe it without spoiling it because I I, I really did enjoy it. Now, if I only if I had to say anything negative about the book, is that there was so much build up to the end. I just wish he would have taken that end because it was so powerful and so it was so great that I wish he would have extended that a little bit more because it was so emotional at the same time and I I, I kind of wanted more from that because he takes you on a journey through the whole book and when he gets to the end it's a great ending I just want more of it that's all that's my only complaint about this book is that I need more of that ending. I wish there would have been a little more of that folklore, but it's in there. Um, so yeah, I I, <laughs> I should have thought about what I was gonna say first before I did the video, but I just wanted to give you my honest reaction. I don't like to do too much synopsy, synopsis of the, of the book. Um, I just wanted to give you my reaction to it. I really liked it. I think you'll like it too. I gave it four stars. But if you're going to read this, read this during fall or winter. Uh, this is definitely a fall or winter book. Um, yeah, so Ronald Malfi, uh, he's on my radar now. And I'll, I hope to read more of him. So that's been my review of Bone White. Uh, I did want to mention real quick that I am reading Lord Loss. This is book one in the Demonada, Demonada, Demonada series by Darren Chan. Uh, this guy is also the author of the Cirque de Freak series. If you ever wrote, if you ever read the Cirque de Freak series, um, yeah, he's the same guy. And I just started this literally after I finished this and I'm already 65% of the way done. And the only reason why I stopped reading today is because I wanted to make the, this quick video. Um, this is enthralling. It really is. Darren Shan doesn't shy away from the horror, the the murder, the grotesque like gore. He doesn't shy away from that at all. And it's not done in a way that's like for the sake of of horror. It, it's done brilliantly. Darren Shan is a great writer. Uh this from the first page it's nothing but it's all gas no break for sure and he doesn't leave anything he doesn't leave anything out he, he he really covers everything um i if this is the only book i read from him awesome great writer but i also have the other four or five books in the series um there's 10 total so I'll definitely be reading these, this series. I can't wait to find out what happens. Um, there's demons, werewolves, gore, there's kills, everything you could possibly want. And this is a YA, but it doesn't read like a YA. It, it's sort of an easy reader in a sense, but Darren Shan, man, props to you, buddy. You know how to write a, a freaking book, dude. I'll tell you that. So, yeah. So I just wanted to share that and share my thoughts. Uh, definitely recommend this, four stars. Um, I haven't finished this yet, but I would highly recommend this. This is uh, at least a four star, in my opinion. Um, maybe five once I'm done. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Jesus, and this is Words on Paper. Have a good one.